Moldova sits in between uh, the Ukraine and Romania and is, uh, was part of the Soviet Union until 1992 when it got its independence. It's about the size of uh, West Virginia with approximately the same population, five and a half or six million. Speaking about the vision that I have for our church and for the ministry of the gospel, I believe the Lord has led us and has shown me several things that we should concentrate on. One is preaching the gospel to the people in the open air. At one point I realized that actually we have to go to them, not expect that they would come to us. So, And, and I realized really this is the major way God ordained for the gospel to be preached. Jesus preached in the open air and John the Baptist and all the apostles. So uh, we will continue to do that. I met Darrell on that first trip in 2003 and he was starting programs to try to keep these kids from being targets of trafficking and he uh, he was working for an organization called Children's Emergency Relief International and he uh, he started first a a program of of kinsmanship where they would put the kids back with the parents and supply some money so that the parents would be able to take care of them one of the problems, one of the big problems that we have here in Moldova is human trafficking. A report done by National Geographic and published in one of their magazines about uh, slavery and forced prostitution in the world. Of the white prostitution trafficking, Moldovans account for 65 percent. That's in the world. So you're talking about a country with the population of West Virginia supplies over 60% of those who are in white slavery. <laughs> Lilia was a withdrawn, very shy child. She wasn't near as bubbly as her, as her sisters and you know, you, I was there a time or two before I ever noticed her. She wasn't one of the kids you noticed. Lilia went to a three-month cooking school after she aged out, moved back to the village, worked as a waitress for about a year, was really energetic and a good waitress. Uh, that led to a job as a stock person at one of the, the chain grocery stores where she actually made enough to live and help support the rest of her family. Somewhere around 2009 maybe, Lilia left the grocery store and went to Moscow to work. Only she didn't go to Moscow. She was tricked and she was trafficked to Turkey. There's still a caste system to a degree, and the people and the old women and the ones who go to church do not want kids from the orphanage there, do not want street kids there. They don't want anybody there that's not like me. The biggest church in Chisinau, Moldova, Jesus Savior, is, is full and not welcoming poor people or, or orphans or widows. But Durrell and Power of Faith Church are not only welcoming these people, but they are targeting them. They are trying to find these people who have nowhere else to go and bring the gospel to them. <laughs> 